Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. Let's go right to the health news. Let's see what's happening out there. Vitamin D does prevent fractures in elderly. According to two new research from Harvard Medical School, vitamin D supplements can prevent fractures in elderly people. The study comes hard on the heels of two British studies which found just the opposite. Dr. Bischoff Ferrari, an instructor with Harvard's medical school, says the latest research is a major review of data from all the clinical trials, which met, met rigid standards for quality. Dr. Bischoff Ferrari says one of the British studies would not have met Harvard standards, while the other was conducted on a population with especially high risk. The report went on to say that one out of three women and one out of six men who live to be 90 sustain a hip fracture, and up to 25% of them require long-term nursing home, and up to 20% die within one year. That is sad. The results of this high standard review of all the studies available concludes taking vitamin D, 800 international units, and calcium, 800 milligrams daily, will significantly reduce the tragic hip fracture numbers. Folks, even if vitamin D didn't help prevent fractures, we should take it for its immune-enhancing and anti-cancer properties. Good work, Harvard. I think we can put this issue to rest. Let's go to our next one. Folic acid fortification cuts birth defects. A new study from South America finds countries which mandate fortifying wheat flour with folic acid can bring steep declines in serious birth defects called neural tube defects. After Chile required folic acid fortification, the rate of spina bifida, deformity of the spine, decreased by 51% and the rate of anencephaly, a deformity of the brain, declined by 46% in just two years. The study confirms similar results seen in the U.S. and Canada following folic acid fortification of their foods. You know, just last week we had a study that came in that showed supplementing vitamin C during pregnancy reduced the incidence of preterm delivery and perinatal complications. And now this report, as others in the past have shown, folic acid fortification helps prevent spinal column deformities. Folks, be sure any of your loved ones who may be with child are taking those prenatal vitamins. It could spare a lot of misery in your family down the road. Here's an interesting one. Can rice bran oil melt cholesterol? A natural component found in rice bran oil may lower cholesterol as well as have the potential to be an anti-cancer and anti-infection agent, according to the University of Rochester mice study. Researchers revealed a form of vitamin E extracted from rice bran oil called tocotrienol rich fraction, or TRF, lowered total cholesterol levels by 42% and LDL, or bad cholesterol levels, up to 62%. The study found TRF had greater antioxidant properties than other forms of vitamin E and helped the liver enzymes clear toxic substances from the liver. This report has created a huge stir in the scientific community. And, you know, we'll see a lot more research on this rice bran oil, vitamin E, in the near future. Let's recap the concept. Rice bran oil derived vitamin E, or TRF, reduces total cholesterol 42% and reduces LDL up to 62%. Now, the dose needed to create this effect is a very safe 500 international units of rice bran oil, vitamin E. Sounds too good to be true? Well, we'll see. More research is sure to follow. Now, here's a good one. Look at this. Video games may help stroke victims. Video games may help stroke victims use their weakened legs and ultimately walk better. In a small study, the National Institute of Neurologic Disorders and Stroke observed 10 stroke patients as they played virtual reality games in which they imagined they were diving with sharks or snowboarding down a narrow slope. Researchers found the stroke patient's ability to walk improved after participating in the video games for an hour a day for one month. Researchers report hope for the new video game therapy as the stroke patients used in the study failed to progress with other therapies. The report went on to say some 70,000 Americans have a stroke every year, and stroke is a major cause of ongoing disability. And this report's a little fun. Everybody likes to play games, and with this video game therapy, there's an added benefit for the stroke patients. Well, today on Your Health, Heloise joins us. Yes, hints from Heloise, America's favorite hintologist joins us. She'll be in the kitchen with Cindy. She's going to teach us how to organize our pantry with all this healthy food you've been buying. Join us today on Your Health.